hi guys and welcome so it's been about a month since I haven't posted a video for you guys and I'm really sorry about that I've been super caught up in life and just different things I went to Europe then I went to New York and then I went to DC for a couple of days so I've kind of been all over the place um, but I'm now home and I'm back and I have a ton of content I want to put out for you guys and today as you guys can see from the title of this video I'm gonna be talking about my hair loss experience since my kidney transplant um, this video has been requested by a ton of you guys because I know if you're on like the medications it can be a toll on your body and you know everybody reacts to these medications differently so I'm gonna be talking about my experience um, on Celsept and the other medications and just how my hair has been taking a toll on it so if you guys are interested to see how my hair has been affected since my transplant then definitely keep on watching start off by saying that this is my natural hair I just showered this morning brushed it and now I have it air drying as you guys can see I'm sure that my hair is kind of very poofy and very dry looking and super like you know baby hair is kind of going everywhere and that's because ever since my hair loss you know I have been taking some vitamins and just little baby hair has been growing um, but I want to kind of go into detail about like this whole hair loss experience. So I got my transplant back in February 2017 and I started on Celsep, prednisone, and then just like the other little antibiotics and then a blood pressure medicine. So if you guys are taking Celsep, one thing that they don't really warn you about or that I didn't know about is that Celsep actually makes your hair fall out. And I didn't realize that until about five months into taking my medications when I would randomly notice that my hair was kind of just falling everywhere and um, it sucked because like I usually love to have my hair down and if you guys know me like I said in previous videos I've always had super long hair and my hair is very thick but now it's short I had to cut it because it was falling out like insanely so I had to cut it so it won't fall out and have like long strands it's just like shorter strands but it's super thin so I you know started losing my hair and when I started losing my hair I didn't really think much of it I kind of just thought it was um me like I don't know what I thought I kind of just thought it wasn't like um like I kind of just thought, oh, maybe it just happened like once or twice. But then I noticed that every time I would brush my hair or every time I would get in the shower, I would run my fingers through my hair and I would get insane amounts of hair out of my shower or out of my brush. And I was just like, oh, no, because before that, um, if you're also on prednisone, prednisone actually makes your hair grow. And it's kind of like contradicting one another. Um, self subs making your hair, you know, thin out and get fall out, while prednisone is actually making your hair grow. And the funny thing is that everywhere in my body, my hair has, is growing and it's getting like hairy, except my head. My hair on my head has been falling out like crazy because of the cell set. <clears throat> and I didn't realize it was the cell set until about six months ago when my hair like has changed a ton and I remember I went into the infusion clinic and the doctor looked at me and they're like oh my goodness your hair is falling out because of cell set and I'm like yeah you notice that it's falling out and she's like yep I have a ton of patients a ton of women that complain about their hair falling out because of cell set and I actually had a patient come off of it because she really did not want to lose her hair and I was just like wow now I know that it's like the cell set so she told me to take some vitamins and kind of like try to help you know my hair grow back and I was taking some vitamins I actually ran out but I ordered some more 
um, and it was helping. But since it's been about a week since I haven't taken those vitamins, um, I don't know if anything really has changed within that week. But I'm definitely going to get back on those vitamins because I was seeing a difference. But she told me that after a couple of months of my hair falling out that it will start to regulate and the hair will start to grow back and the salsa will kind of find a balance between like the hair fall and the growth. But I've been on my transplant for about a year, almost two years now. In a couple of months, in like four months, it's going to be two years or in like three months. I'm not sure. But in like soon, it's going to be two months and my hair is still falling out. And it's been so rough for me as a girl. And as a Christian woman, um, I very much treasure and love my hair. You know, when people would ask me what was my best feature, I would always say my hair. And it was because I just loved the way my hair looked. It was very long, beautiful, shiny, wavy, and thick. I had super thick hair. But now it's super thin. I don't know if you guys could see it in this video. But it's really thin um, and I do have baby hair growing like I don't know if you guys can see it huh? like I do have baby hair growing which does mean that my hair is growing back but it still has been rough um you know like I was saying as a Christian woman I've always believed that my hair is my veil and that's what has made it so rough for me on like this journey of um, my transplant, I guess. Because when my hair started to fall out, it started to really, you know, affect my confidence. And I was just like going through a phase of like, oh my goodness, God, like, help me. Like, why is my hair, you know, falling out? And I have been praying to God and asking God to, you know, my restore my hair. And I always do speak life into my hair because remember, guys, our words have power. And this is our veil. So I say, Lord, you know, put that veil, strengthen my veil, you know, um, both physically and spiritually. So, you know, it's been rough. I know if you guys are women out there and even males, you know, it sucks, it sucks, you know, losing your hair because no one wants to have like, you know, thinned out hair or no hair and it sucks. And the funny thing is, and it's not even funny guys. And the thing is that I still do have hair. Imagine those people that don't have hair at all. You know, people that are going through cancer and other illnesses that are even 10 times worse than what I'm going through. And it's sad and I feel for them, you know, before I, I would just like look at people, you know, that were going through cancer and I would always admire them because I know that's a huge, huge struggle. But now it's like I admire them even like more than ever because it's so hard going through that. But on top of that, you have other things that your body's going through. You're not just writing on the inside of your body, but it starts to reflect on the outside of your body. I feel for everybody that is losing hair for just any type of reason, it might not be because of your transplant, it might not be because um, the medications, but because of maybe just different things that we are going through in life. Stress can cause hair loss. And I know it's difficult, but just keep speaking life over your body and into your hair. I know it might sound funny, but I always say, oh, like I look at myself in the mirror and I'm like, grow hair, you're gonna grow, you're gonna have strength, you're gonna have life, you're gonna look beautiful. You have to speak into your hair and speak over your life, guys. I know you guys are probably like, what is she talking about? But I'm telling you, like, our words have power. So it's super important to really speak over our lives. And like I was saying, it's been messing with my confidence like a ton. Um, my family always tells me, you know, you need to fix yourself. You need to, you need to start, you know getting dressed nice or this and that because before um you know i got sick and even during my dialysis time i would like dress nice i would always fix myself and i still do but it's not to the extent that i did in the past uh, and it's really honestly because of my weight gain and because of my hair loss it's so hard to work with this hair because my hair 
Okay, first of all, if I just have it down and natural, it looks messy, it looks very thinned out and fuzzy. And then when I wanna put it up, there's hair strands glowing everywhere. Um, here and then as time passes here and here and that looks funny as well so it kind of is just like what I do is I shower I like keep it wet and then I just put it in like a bun and then you know a lot of my clothes since the waking I haven't been able to fit into it because I was 114 pounds so 30 pounds of weight gain it's kind of hard to fit into your clothes so you know that has really been taking a toll on me, you know, and getting ready. I do try to push myself as much as possible, but you kind of get like very down when you start to lose your hair and when your body starts to, you know, you know, change in a not so positive way. But I always try to push myself and and I also want to encourage you guys that if you're going through hair loss, if you're going through weight gain or just anything you guys might be going through, don't give up keep pushing keep praying keep seeking the lord and keep asking him to strengthen you because we cannot do this on our own force we cannot do this on our own might or power you know i get all my strength and i always said this you know just different things everything that i've gone through it hasn't been me it has been god giving me that power and giving me that strength so if you guys are going through hair loss we will over we will overcome this i know my hair is gonna get thick i know my hair is gonna grow and i'm not gonna let this stop me you know i'm gonna keep pushing it has like i said taken a toll in a not so good way but this isn't gonna stop us you know we have to keep moving forward we know this transplant journey or just this kidney disease journey that we have been put on hasn't been easy for anybody and I just want to say that we can't give up. We have to keep fighting, keep, you know, asking the Lord to strengthen us and to help us and keep seeking him in prayer so that he can renew us every day, not only our spiritual lives, but also our physical lives, because he is the one that gives us health. He's the one that, you know, takes away our physical pain, our emotional pain and everything. And I am a witness to that. I am a testimony to that because there's been times where I've been feeling my body in like massive pain aching pain and me and my family have prayed and I've been healed spot like spot on and I know God takes away pain so I just want to say that thank you guys so much for listening to my hair loss journey if you guys are going through the same thing I'm going through please leave a comment down below and share your story with me we can always help one another motivate one another in just any type of way because this is what we're here for guys we are here to lift one another not to criticize anyone but just to love and help and just be a family together and just keep walking forward together so i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and for listening to me and my story and also i want to ask you guys for one favor if you guys feel like you guys related to this video or if this video helped you guys or encouraged you guys please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye everyone